Welcome to Real Filmmaking. My name is Corey, and I'm out here enjoying the last little bits of fall today before we get full-on winter. But today I wanted to share about something cool I've been experimenting with on my Canon cameras, and that's using film simulations. Now, generally film simulations are more talked about with stuff like Fujifilm cameras, or if you're grading your video footage to look a certain way, a lot of people tend to make it look like film, which is one of the things I like to do. Particularly when I shoot with the Canon EOS SAM and Magic Lantern, I feel like the camera naturally kind of leans towards a more filmic look. I've just been experimenting with how you can get some pretty cool, unique looks out of your Canon cameras and kind of been researching that along with film simulations. So I did a little research and I came across a creator by the name of Thomas Franson and he has done a ton of work in making these Canon picture profiles that look like Fuji film simulations. But you can check out his channel, I'll link it in the description. He has a ton of videos describing the different Canon picture profile film simulations he's developed, like how to shoot with them, how to install them, but it's all really great stuff. And these Canon film simulations, you can use them across a lot of Canon's cameras. So I have the Canon M50 and I've got the EOS M, but you know, you can use them on like all of the DSLR bodies. I think some of the newer Canon cameras, but it's really cool just to see the different looks that you can get in camera. I know you can do a lot of stuff in post-production, whether that's like editing your raw photos or doing color grading in post, but there is something really nice about being able to just find a cool look and just like shoot it in camera. So the two film simulations that I've mostly been shooting with over the past couple months have been uh, Thomas, his Pro Neg High, which he calls his Pro Ne High profile, which kind of emulates Fujifilm's Pro Neg High film simulation. And the other one I've been shooting with is his Kodak film simulation, which mimics uh, Kodak Vision 3 uh, film. And it's been really cool just to see like when I go shoot in different situations, like how the light affects it. You know, sometimes things will make like the shadows a little bit crunchier. Uh, things will naturally have more contrast. Um, like the colors pop with certain times when you shoot it, the different subjects that you choose to shoot uh, with these film profiles. So that's been just a really cool thing. You know, like I love doing like color grading and I love like all that in post-production when I'm editing my photos and so it's just a really cool way to kind of like be thinking about that while you're shooting and being like how's this going to look in camera and you know what can I achieve with these sorts of different things and even this whole YouTube video right now I'm shooting it with uh, the Kodak picture profile on my Canon M50 and as you can see it's a very different feel as you can see right here it's like you know you might say oh it's a little bit more aggressive the shadows are like you know, almost crushed and, you know, there's a, more contrast here back in the background stuff. But for certain types of looks, that can be really cool. I'm going to switch real quick and uh, show you one of the other one I've been shooting with. So here's the Pro Ne High film simulation. I also had to switch the angle because the sun was getting me really dark. Uh, you wouldn't even be able to see me if I kept rolling like this. But uh, yeah, here's the Pro Ne High. Again, it's a different feel from the Kodak, but that's something that I really like about these film simulations. They just, they have a different feel. They bring like a different vibe to your footage. So now I want to show you a couple images and a few like little sequences I shot with these different film profiles. So take a look. So there you go. Also, we're back on the Kodak, but there you go. Some really cool examples of what you can achieve with these film simulations. And again, this is just shooting straight out of camera. I didn't really do any major adjustments like color grading wise or editing of trying to get 
just what it looks like straight out of the camera. So I'd highly recommend checking out these film simulations for your Canon camera. I think you'll be surprised and you'll have a great time. Thanks so much, Thomas, for creating these. You're doing awesome work. Uh, remember, go check out his channel, subscribe to him, support him. And if you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Real Filmmaking for more content coming on a weekly basis about cameras, magic lantern, filmmaking, all that goodness. And until next time, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking. Now go shoot with some of these film simulations.